one thing that we instill in our students is creativity, originality, and they work independently, and this software allows for that. As a department, we made a conscious decision to invest in SolidWorks over five years ago. We offer both SOLIDWORKS and 2D Design to our students. They both work together. We had originally 60 licenses and that would be in school, 60 licenses at home. And we've just recently upgraded to over 200. It's so popular that we have so many students that are wanting to use it. But we've also got an unlimited design kit for the students to use at home. Download it onto their laptop or their mobile device and and that's been an amazing asset to our students. And not only do they build on the skills that we've taught them, but I know that there's a wealth of tutorials online and I know my SOLIDWORKS has some excellent tutorials that the students can pick up and run with. So we would start off our students with a very simple project that we do at the moment. Um, it just happens to be a dice. They can design, obviously, to scale. They can also 3D print their dice and it means that they can learn the repetition of skills with selecting face, uh, basic skills like extruding, cutting, filleting. I think it's a really powerful tool um, with various different levels. Um, when we have the, the younger students starting at 11 years old, uh, it has the wow factor, so it's great as a teacher to use it as that, that resource. Using SOLIDWORKS is a fantastic opportunity for them to make that link with industry, giving the students those skills that, in my opinion, makes them ultimately more employable. I think it's a really powerful tool for being able to model how different parts will interact with each other in real life. Um, you can use assemblies to put parts together, you can use stress tests to see how things will perform, you can use it to you know, make products with 3D printers, it's got so many uses. SOLIDWORKS is very useful for demonstrating you know, portfolio work. Um, if you haven't actually made the project in the flesh or you want to, get a, you want to you know, try a few angles with the product, it's much easier to get SOLIDWORKS 3D images that are rendered rather than you know, actually making the product and taking photos of it. Um, so you can get a much cleaner image with SOLIDWORKS. The introduction of SOLIDWORKS and CAD CAM is something that's been a conscious decision in the movement of real design in, in the workplace and it really doesn't take away from their hand skills and one thing that the beauty of using 2D design and our laser cutter and SOLIDWORKS and 3D printing is our students have practical skills, they have to be able to assemble these parts, they have to be able to visualise, understand limitations with the materials that we have. SOLIDWORKS has helped with one of our more uh, recent projects. We worked with a company called Blue Forest where they were, their brief was to create a workspace um, and the twist was that it had to be in a tree. Um, so we wanted to kind of develop the creativity side of it. And SOLIDWORKS was great for that because um, they'd come up with an initial sketch, uh, create it into a, into a 3D model. They then presented uh, and pitched their idea. And the main guys at Blue Forest were blown away by the skills that were taught to such a, a young age group. We also used um, 2D Design, which is a great piece of software for, for the manufacturing process. With the help of SOLIDWORKS and 2D Design, these great you know, packages that we have on offer um, allowed them to develop the basic skills, take them forward, work on it, and create these really advanced projects that um, were worthy of any industry. Our students are so incredibly enthusiastic. They're using their license at home, they're coming into our CAD CAM club that we offer at lunchtime, after school, they want to come in, they want to 3D print things, um, they want to use all of our specific kit that runs with SOLIDWORKS. So endless creativity and excitement surrounding SOLIDWORKS.